Brother, you are welcome. God bless you. Tell us your name, where you are coming from, and your testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout fire here, fire there. Shout fire everywhere. Fire everywhere. Especially here. Shout fire here, fire there. Fire everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, please, my name is Mr. Toshuku Umesega. I am from Amish, Anambara State, Nigeria. Please, I come to give this great testimony to our great God. Well, I don't want to take much time. I want to cut the testimony short because they are many. But let me pick some of them. I was nobody before I came to this church. Holy Ghost testifier. I make money before. All of a sudden, the money collapsed. I only have building. As a landlord, I'm collecting just little money from the tenants, managing myself and family. Because I was so rich before until i fell down i didn't have cobble again i don't know what to do and the, i'm the type of person that are so shy to tell somebody to help me then i was struggling i was trying to travel abroad again because i was living there but no way to go again anytime i want to go money will never come all the people that promised me to help me they disappointed me and i become a drunkard by condition. But my brother, he said, he was living with me, he's still living with me today. He cautioned me that I'm prayerless. I don't pray, I don't fast, I don't go to church anymore. I didn't even have a shaman. I never go to a native doctor. I didn't belong to anything. I have no power. No spiritual power at all. I was spiritually down. Then he forced me with the wife, try to go to church. He was forcing me to go to church. Then I forced myself to enter here. One certain Sunday, I'm telling you about 2018. Immediately, I came to this church. Woman of God, senior prophetess, she the man She came to me, gave me prophetic messages that changed my life. She touched the root cause of my troubles. She told me that I have been trying to move back to a blood, but no way. He asked me whether I have been there before. I say yes. He said, I am trying to return, but no way. I say yes. What can I do? He said, don't worry. She said there was an idol. There is an idol in my father's compound. Idol that this idol tie my legs and tie me into a very big tree. That anytime I struggle to move, the idol will draw me back. I said that is true. She said again that I have spirit. This our forefathers. That's a, I will remember it. Two things. She told me that these two spirits are disturbing me. Ancestral spirits they are stopping me. I said it is pure because anytime I'm sleeping I will see all these dead men, old people they will come to my dream and give me a message and anything they tell me I will tell to the people and it will come to pass. The dead people, ancestral spirits then she pressed me on a deliverance she gave me 21 days fasting and the prayer, the final day, tables of God. I came to this church from morning, every morning till night was fire everywhere. Fire here, fire there, fire in my father's compound, fire in my fridge, fire in my temple, fire in my kingdom, fire in Then after here, she moved us to the empty land, the back of the church. It was there I encountered. God face to face. Oh! Then, after the deliverance, me that have no power of prayers before, I began to speak in tongues. Hey, hey, hey. 
me that was nobody before I began to see visions and revelations. I began to prophesy to people and they come to pass. I came again and say, Mommy, I am free. You say, Yes, but your family, you will go and deliver your family. I say, Ah, why can't you go with me? You say, Go, you are now fire. Go. <laughs> my brothers, I went to, to my father's compound. We have come many, many, many pastors, men of God for the rebalance, pay him money every time, but all the same, he can never until I go fasting and prayer and all that 21 days in my father's compound, from night midnight, 12 a.m. till 6 a.m. for 21 days, I finish the last day, people of God, remember the Bible says until the day the year Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. My God, the final day, the 21 days, eh? I went, my father married two wives. My own mother was dead, but the second wife are still alive. I went to her the final day. I say, Mommy, because I so much love the woman more than my own mother. I did to her everything I never do to my mother. I take her like my mother. And I promised her about 10 years ago that there is something I will give to her that she will never forgive, forget. Yes. Then I go to her the final day. I say, Mommy, now remember I told you before that there is something I want to give to you that you will, you will never forget. You say, what is that? I say, call your children. Call of them. All of them call them. I want to give you something you will never forget. Forget. She said she's old. That I will go by myself and invite the sh uh, her children. Then I went. I called all her children together in a very ceremony. I was telling them today, today, this evening by 6 p.m. I want to see all of you in my father's compound. I saw them where they are doing burial of somebody in our village. I invite all of them, people of God, at land 3 p.m. I was with the children there in the belly because that person is from my kindled. Phone, my phone rang and I pick my brother, the son of my serious brother was calling me. Come home, come home, come home. I said, what is the problem? Tell me. He said, come home and see by yourself. I said, I'm not coming until you tell me. He refused. He was crying. Then I, 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 I called my brother another brother he dropped me down to my father's compound people of god i saw somebody lying dead building building collapse i mean kitchen where the woman was cooking collapse and kill her instantly I that just three hours to give her what I promised, and the, what I want to give to this woman is my anobi, my inheritance. Hey! Huh? Only land my father gave me is what I want to give to her, but she wasn't alive to take it from me. But I still stay in my wells. I do the burial, the whole village gathered together. There was shock. Since then, they began to see me as a prophet. They was asking me, how come, how come? I said, I don't know. People at home will tell you people. Them, all the villagers, be, they become my witness that I came to this village since 21 days. Doing fasting and prayer. I am crying, not only prayer. I am crying to God with all the strength I have. And the whole villagers, they hear my voice. And I prophesy that this village will shake. And the presence of God will shake this village. And I see mansion, 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 buildings everywhere. People of God, if you go to that village now, you will think that you come to paradise, to that vicinity. Watch your Atidia. My people, I left them. I spend another six months in Nigeria here asking God, how can I make it? Because the prophetess have 
tell me she, she had prophesied to my life that she saw open door she saw excess money come on my way she saw me going and coming i take that point every night that is my prayer point father i want to see myself there i want to go there and that excess money i need it my people it took me six months then i saw myself in our blood hey! ah. my people in our blood i never sleep for one night from 1 a.m because my prophetess teach me very well that all these demons their time are in the midnight from 1 a.m 4 a.m they are meeting crews that i don't need to cruise my eyes that time i spent three years and five months in a blood and there was no night i slept i i cried to god until i come back to nigeria i never i didn't close my eyes for night and every month i make sure that i do fasting and prayer not just fasting but dry fasting the shortest one every month is three days others five five days a times in a month i do like five times uh, three three days into two or into three times in a month that i fasted my people my people my people i began to see money small 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 i said no god you didn't tell me small small i need it in bank then i say let me try this god the first money i make i call mommy on phone I say, mommy, do you remember me? She said, hmm, people, there are many here. I say, I promise God that I will tie this church. That now I want to tie it. He said, how come? I said, shake the money. Shake both the sand, the ties, the labor, everything. I want to do it. She sh shake all of them and send me the bills. I send people, the workers with the ties people of god as they tie this place immediately my doors oh, oh! you are this sitting down you are sitting down choke on your feet and make a recognize noise of the lord hey hey listen hey my god my god listen since I tied this place, eh? I like that there. Since I tied this house, house of God, I don't know how much I have again in my bank account. I don't know how much I, I have again. Hey. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hey. Don't worry. Praise the Lord. Can you put your hands together? Come up to the glory of God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God will sound. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, I want to get this testimony very clear. Hallelujah. Brother, he said that before 2018, I can remember that, that, that date, that time exactly. He said, before 2018, you are confused. You don't know what to do. You don't even go to church. You become a drunkard until somebody invited you here. Praise the Lord. And when the person invited, invited you here, you met the woman of God and mommy in the Lord. And she prophesied to you. And after that prophecy, she told you exactly what was wrong with you, what was going on in your life. And after that prophecy, you said, Change. Not to say, the total package. Because of love change not pray before you that are not doing anything before you become a prophet well, pray, warrior, you become a prophet that you went to your village you, you, you do 21 day prayer and after that everything changed are you sitting down there jump on your feet and make a recognize noise unto the lord i don't know whether you're here they here she he got a direction about his life the woman of god and mother and the lord gave him a direction told about himself what are what are going to be are you going to be great so much money excess money he, from that day he did not rest praise the lord Hallelujah. he did into it he connected to it he said every night he refused to sleep every night he 
refused to sleep. Every night he woke up in the night to do what? To run according to the prophecy. To run along with the prophecy. Praise the Lord. And brother is telling us today, he's telling us today that after meeting with our mother and the Lord, after he tied this place, that he can know, he don't know how much he has. He better say, you know, he had that one. Me, I hear him. You can imagine Nigeria today, somebody said, I don't know how much I get. You can imagine that. Brother said, after I connected to this altar, after I tied this place, after I tied this place, from that day, I God do what? Open. God do what? Open. And from that day, everything changed. Praise the Lord. That will be your portion. That will be your portion. Amen. That will be your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, brother, we rejoice with you. We rejoice with you. What a testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We rejoice with you. Your testimonies are permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen.